Look at these fish. Ah. Actually, they're all over it, Chief. Got one right there, right in front of the boat. Take a look at all those boats. <laughs> so here's all the birds. Look at all those birds in there. And look at just all those boats. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. There you go, here's, here's this guy. Right across. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, right in the middle of These fish. Ah. Actually, they're all over it, Chief. Yeah. Got one right there, right in front of the boat. There you go. <laughs> well, I hope that picked up on camera. Yeah, it's on. God, right there, right in front of the bed. There you go, a little bass, bass candy delight. Watch out, watch out. Oh, I love this, on a light gear. Let me come around you here. They're all over, by the way. That was awesome. He came up and smoked it. Smoked it. These guys are fly fishing right in that school there. Got him? There he comes. Come on up here, baby. There you go. You got a big one? <sighs> Boy, this fish took me around a boat. Take me for a boat, uh, a boat tour. Wow, look at that. Look at that, that is what I discovered right there. Holy cow. Nice size. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this fish in just so I get another one. <laughs> there you go. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Big old girl. There you go. Bass candy delight. Beautiful. Beautiful straight bass. There you go. There you go. <laughs> You're the keeper. Just get another fish. Yeah. All right, where'd they go? Do you see where they went? Oh, they were behind us, I think. No, they're behind us there, I think. Is that you? Oh, yeah. oh, he missed it. Yeah, no, I missed it. Oh, my. 
Wow, he was on that. <laughs> this is awesome. There it goes. There's John. Yeah. Right in the sun too, so nobody can see it. Bass Candy Delight. Coming around there. Coming around. Another tour of the boat. For Johnny Fish a lot. <laughs> you need a bigger boat. There's one right next to the boat here. Big fish, man. Light gear. They're, they're, they're all around us right here. They're eating those peanut bunker. Wild discovery. They don't want to come up. There's a fish right there. Come on. All big slobs. Man, that's a nice fish. Aren't you glad you played hooky? Oh yeah, I'm like it. <laughs> Alright, just gonna leader him in now. Yeah, nice and easy, get down to my leader. Ah. Oh boy, look at the size of this one. That's a nice, that's a nice fish. Boy, he ate it. He got that way down there. Oh. Another beauty. There you go, another beautiful fish. Ah, light gear, light gear's where it's at, right there. That fish ate it, that fish had half the uh, Bass Candy Delight in its throat. He just missed getting the hook in its throat. You missed one? Yeah, one just swam right next to the boat. There they are. Yeah. Other peanut bunker. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. This striper chasing all these little peanut bunker. That's amazing. Oh, one was just after, after mine. Oh, one was just... He didn't get it. My gosh, she jumped out of the water. Oh, God, these f nets. Uh. Let's get that out. All right. Yeah, just my back. <laughs> Got that on film. There you go, Bass Candy Delight. Really great, great, great lure. Super light gear way to go right here. So this is a Daiwa Ballistic. This is 10 pound test line on 20 pound mono leader. And uh, I could cast this thing a ton in this wind. It handles these fish just fine. And it allows me to cover a lot of water and get down if I have to, so. You see him around there? See these guys ran into them and they moved away from them. See, that's why you can't catch fish like that. See, this whole fleet of boats is chasing the fish instead of getting ahead of them. We've been saying that all day. He's in the back. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this guy uh, nearly ran us over, so we're gonna have to move. They're, they're down there. See him busting right there, all over here? I don't get where this guy is. Don't let them come in here. Cause they're all pushing south. Yeah. Look, look at this. This is insanity striper fishing right here. Insanity. This is what it's all about. This is why you play hooky from work. <laughs> they are busting water from this white boat here all the way to this boat here. Incredible. 
Everybody's approaching through them. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. All right. They should come, uh, they should come into us. There they are. There they are. There, there's one right there in front of me. <laughs> All right. There, another one busted right in front of me. You just went after my lure. You just went after my lure. See it? Right after my lure there. Got him. He hit it. Got him that time. <laughs> <laughs> Got him out of time. What are you doing up there, Chris? Oh boy. You gotta go fast. Oh boy. Trying to fish a lot his own. See, that's exactly how you do it. You saw them spool. Look at him, look at him popping that bunker up there. That bunker's flying up out of the water. So fish lots, that's how you make an approach. You see the fish, you don't cut right through them. You gotta come around them and position yourself down current. When they have them spooled up like this and schooled up like this, what happens is, is they're gonna come with the current. So if you get down range of them, they'll pop up right where you are. Boy, these fish are tough. One just exploded right behind the boat there. Unless that guy cast it on their boat. Chief, yeah, you got him on that side of the boat. Oh boy, another cow. That is just another cow on a Bass Candy Delight. Bass Candy Delight. Pouring to set your drag right with this light tackle. Okay. Come on up. I got more bass candy delights. All right, leader. Leader on the fish. Got him. Look at that. Another beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. These striper are amazing. Whoo. Oh. Look at this cow. Oh, there you go, fish lot. It's another just massive, massive fish. That's these are big fish. These are all 45. Oh my gosh, man. I need a break. I'm out of breath. You're still around you? All right, gonna come over here now. Oh, try not to fall overboard in my excitement. All right, let's see if we get another one, two in a row. Of course, now I'm fishing in the sun, which isn't great for YouTubing. That fish came up after that lure two, three times. Yeah. Oh yeah, he just nailed it. Oh yeah. So again, I would pull ahead of these fish here. Yeah. So like this guy's gonna cut. Now this guy's gonna cut right through those fish. See these group of boats here? They're all cutting through the fish. You don't do that because that drives the fish down or away from you. You do what we're doing, we, and this guy's doing. You pull up in front of the fish, which are right here where the birds are sitting. The birds are doing the same thing. They're waiting for this fish to drive fish in over here. And this is what we do. So now we'll position up here and we'll wait for the fish to come down current to us. And that is how we've been catching all our fish. There they are, right ahead of us. Perfect. We just gotta wait. See, everybody gets, there they are, they're coming right towards us here. Everybody gets FOMO, they wanna run right into these fish. It's just, it's silly. It's a silly way to, silly way to try and get them. Now, a couple advantages I have with really light gear is I could cast a ton with this thing, even though it's a short rod. It's also a short rod, which allows me to maneuver around the boat 
pretty easily. And these fish have been on it. So sometimes going lighter is the way to go. All right, no fish on that one. I saw them pop in there. Oh man, that was fun. Oh, I love fishing. Oh, there they are, they're right there. They're between all those boats. They're coming our way, they're right in front of us. Got one. Got him anyway. Coming right at it. You don't need it. See, that's how you do it. See, this the main school is coming towards us. Nope, we gotta go. Gotta get another boat tour here. Ugh. Chris, you can get a bass candy delight if you want. Okay. You can get a bass candy delight if you want. A little guy. Gives me a break. It's a smaller one. Man, these fish are on it. Oh, I love fishing. Oh my gosh, I love fishing. <laughs> oh boy. This is how you do it. Actually, I said it was smaller. That's a good fish though. Very good fish. Chris has one in the bucket. Very good again. I'll let you go. Just don't stick that hook in me. All right. There you go. There you go. Another beautiful fish. Whew. Man. That's how you let him go. Just the dunk. Fish after fish after fish. All right, look and see. Here's the bird right here. I don't see the fish. Look at this right in front of us. Just boiling, boiling striper. All right, I'm in it. Oh, there's one. He just missed it. He just he swirled after it. He didn't get it. It might have been too fast. Get up in there. See, man, there, that bunker is just coming clear out of the water for these fish. There he is. He's on. <laughs> gas after gas. Burn it, Chris. Burn it. All right, he's swimming right at me, this one. gonna sleep good tonight you got him yeah I, got him. I told you you just gotta burn it get it away from him say this lure isn't for you all right well this is the second time we're doubled up yeah oh now you lost it so there's a shout out to steve fogel here these are steve fogel rods in maryland custom made absolutely brilliant for striper fishing especially light tackle striper fishing so thank you steve uh, description. Oh, he's got a bunch of seaweed on him. Look, look at all this goop. This fish is just covered in seaweed. Wow. Look, take a look at the size of this one, Chris. That's the biggest one of the day. He's covered in seaweed. Oh my goodness. Come here, bud. I'll get you. Don't take my basket. I got so many of those. Ugh. Oh. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a big one right there. I hope that camera's still filming. These fish are all just slobs. Absolute slobs. Take a look at that. I'm you so you're not in the sun. Nah, he's... Oh. Get my finger off. You see him? Oh, they're in the bow. 
Yeah, it don't matter. I got them in the back. <laughs> oh, fish on again. You're on? Yeah. Bass candy delight. Look at that. Now Chris is getting mad. So he's trying to knock off <laughs> my fish. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get that before he uh, shears it off. Ah. Oh boy, see? Got it loose? I can't see it. He's around it, but he's gonna break. You, you gotta break it up that way. All right. I think I'm, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we're back. Little tang, little snafu there, it's all right. Oh my gosh. It's every cast. Why don't you grab a, grab a bass candy? Right in the back. Uh, yeah, the, um, they're literally in that folder. It's like a plastic sleeve. Grab whatever size you want. Grab a little jig head, cut off the bucktail, tie it on. Maybe the bucktail's a little too heavy. It's getting down too far. Oh my gosh, another slob. Another absolute slob. I tried to slow him down. There we go, listen to that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Look at him take a line. A big girl here. There's a big girl. If I could, uh, Oh, since we're out of them. So the other thing, these light action rods, by the way, everybody wants fast tip, extra fast action rods. The light action rods actually allows them to get the bait in. You know, if you got extra fast action, it's like instant torque. Yeah. It makes no sense a lot of times because they don't, they don't, you see how they're, they're hitting bait, bait are flying up out of the water. You actually want them a chance to get the, the lure in their mouth, you know? But you watch everybody and they're all like, oh, you need extra fast action, extra fast action. You do not need extra fast action. Just ask Steve Fogel, rod maker extraordinaire. We had a long conversation about these rods and these puppies are perfect. Thank you, Steve. That is a big fish. Oh, great. That is a, that's why it's giving me a hard time. She's just too big. <laughs> wow, that's a big one. All right. Look at the size. Leader. Wow, look at the size of that fish. All right, All right quick pick. Uh. <laughs> look at the size of that fish. There you go. All right. All right, now the way we do this, beautiful fish. The way we're gonna do this is just the good old dunk. She's healthy, she's biting my hand. That means she's good to go. Dunk her in. There she goes, swimming off. Perfect. Look at this bait. Oh yeah, tearing it up. <laughs> take, take a look at that. That's, that's a bait at work right there. It's a good thing I bring all this. How's it going? Wonderful day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Beat the shit out of work. Take a look at what those fish did to my bass candy. Delight, they just opened that up. 
Ah, oh, yeah, they're they're behind us here. Okay, good. Oh, one just missed it. Right, right there at the boat. Come on, come back, and get it on camera. Oh man, one just swirled at me. I just missed it off camera. So I'm putting a lot of motion to it because. These bunker are literally swimming for their lives. So there's no reason to kind of finesse this in any way. You just want to kind of rip it away from them to simulate exactly what they're trying to catch and eat. So it's almost like false albacore fishing if you've ever done that, where you're literally just trying to reel as fast as you can and get the lure away from the fish. Now I'm shocked this is the second cast where I haven't got a fish. So that tells you how good this has been. Chris is out. Nice. Nice one. Yeah. I think they got 20 pound on there. Oh no, I pulled the Chris. Look, there's you in action. Your daughter will, will love it. You're, you're going to be on your it's more, YouTube. It's more making my brother jealous. <laughs> Look at Chris handling that fish like a champ. He did take a lot of line. Good. You don't like the back of the boat. No, he don't like the boat. Don't fall in. There you go. Here, you know what? That's no good. Let me come around. I got a better photo of you. <laughs> These are big fish. There you go. Oh, look at that. Sunset, silhouetted. Great video. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, they, uh, we're going to put some music over this. It's going to be like, oh, 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 okay. Let me grab, I'll just grab the leader you can have. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that is a big girl. Yeah. That's a big girl right there. She, Chris can't even get it in the boat. I'll drop it. Well, don't drop her. We got to let her go. <laughs> All right, hold on, wait. All right, all right. Yeah, she's not ready. You got it. There she goes, good. She kicked. Is that thing still going? Yes, this thing is still filming. Tacticam! Way to go! <laughs> Way to go, Tacticam! Is that because it's not a GoPro? Yes. It's not, I haven't mean, touched you, fiddle with you. You've just been filming this whole time. Thank you, Tacticam. <laughs> We may have to go to jigging. I noticed your bird's nest in my, uh, yeah, I and then you just put it back. <laughs> That's fishing cooth, you know. You don't you don't bird somebody's gear and then put it back in the rod holder. <laughs> All right, they may come up. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, they may come up to us. They're right behind the guys. You see them? Now, if you're interested in more light tackle striper fishing, click on this end card right here, where I show you how these same exact tactics used in this video here can be used to trigger even the most inactive of fish that are not showing themselves and are not exploding bunker out of the water. So check that out, Fish A Lots. I have a ton more tips for you to catch you more fish out there. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you out there on the water.